A memo out by the State Police Chiefs Association was warning everybody that the governor was set to order a hard closure on state parks today. Well, that didn't happen, but you're still not allowed to drive into any of them. Action News Now reporter Brandon Benitez shows us how the community is coping with the loss of this pastime. And they're paying for the houseboats, you know, and they're not going to be able to go on them. And so that's why everybody's mad. Frustration within Lake Oroville goers increases as Governor Gavin Newsom issued a statewide closure to California parks. To me, it doesn't make sense. Hopefully it'll, it'll open here soon, but mm -hmm. the people will be able to come up here from wherever they're coming from. Reno, Ta uh, we've got everybody. Mm -hmm. And that's what they want. They want the lake. But for the sake of social distancing, people like Don Bartlett are confused at how being alone on your boat can be a risk especially when cabin fever hits and you want to go out. And not only that, you have fun, you know? And that's what we need today, mm -hmm. is have fun, you know? Don't, don't stay in your house all the time, right. you know? Go, out, go outside, you know? And do, do what you're supposed to do, yeah. but go have fun. Absolutely. This is like a big vacation. Bartlett said it's important to be safe with current safety and public health procedures, but not to this extent. Common visitors of Lake Orville are worried their Memorial Day plans are over and done with, while others hoping to do repairs on a boat that cost them tens of thousands no longer can for now. In Orville, Brandon Benitez, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Keep in mind it's not just Lake Oroville. Other state parks in our area include MacArthur Bernie Falls Memorial, Castle Crags, Shasta State Historic Park, and the Woodson Bridge State Recreation Area, also a state park. That's for what you can.